I see a boat. Mom used to tell me about them. Didn't think they were actually real. Nightmares? Yeah. They give people nightmares. Or they are nightmares. I don't remember which. I wish I could ask her. Now we'll get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here, doing all this. There was a time I thought I'd never leave our woods, not even my own beds. You are not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor, god of thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god. Son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? Make it out. It reads Sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it? See that? 
And there's a statue of Thor. Except I can see a lot more of him now. The water dropped and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before, see? And there's the mountain. Look it, that building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it in who knows how long. You know that serpent? He's one of the giants. He's so big, he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looked pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. Have I got something for you, too? Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here. I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? <laughs> Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path, lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Best of luck with all the rampage. Good luck. 
that tower leads through to the mountain. I'm ready. Hmm. I don't know these words. I, I bet I could figure it out. Told you, we should come back with. Look here. Look, it's the world serpent. He's so much bigger than I imagined. Oh look, he bit Thor, or will bite him. Looks like. those things. They smell awful. Your mother called them scorn poles. Poison magic. She was the one who showed me how to disable them. <laughs> what? It's just funny to think of her teaching you something. Yes. <clears throat> Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, ha, excuse me, but, um, how did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh, <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See, the woman we made it for, I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother, <laughs> she would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. 
Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. There. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. Oh, I could use a distraction. Happy to provide. Andreas, follow me.
can't tell. Are we getting closer to the mountain? We are. Do you think for this last leg up the mountain that maybe I can carry her? I told you no. Why? She meant more to me than you anyway. What? I, I just meant I spent more time with her. You were off hunting with her. It would serve you to stop talking.
I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? You must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy, saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Greythaw. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Just give that a turn. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? I told you. They've hated each other ever since. Destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know... We actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. 
He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Rioska! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. I want one. Those roots. What kind of magic is that? It's Vanir. From Vanaheim? You know of it? Just stories. Mother didn't say much about the Vanir gods. Just that they're always at war with the Aesir. As compared to Odin and Thor, they're the good guy. There are no good gods, boy. Thought I taught you that. Temple. Built with help from the giants, Great Tyr used it to travel the Nine Realms and keep the peace between them. <laughs> Everywhere we go, we're attacked. Especially by death. The risen dead grow ever more numerous. Once the roads and trails would have been full of people. Now all have hid or fled, save for the Reavers, savage enough to survive in such a world. Make a ride at the bottom of these stairs. Hey, another one of those light crystals. Wait there while I reawaken the light. Leosta. That did it. What are we doing exactly? Mending the disrepair. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. You heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Could Vanir magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait. So did the Giants or the Elves build Tear Stump? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please.
Once you claim the Light of Alfheim, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. You talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. It can capture, hold, and transfer the Light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait, there's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align, and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of Alfheim. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. 
And you'll be able to make that black bread go away? With the captured light of Alfheim, yes. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <sighs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Oh, look at this place. Stay by me. Touch nothing. Okay. What is that? <laughs> I think you killed it. Look up there! Whoa, what's that about? Not our concern, boy. Focus. They keep murdering the light up. It is war. The end of one. The roped one's lost. What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since the elves were always fighting over the light, they kept them isolated. Said nothing. Wait, this one you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices. You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. 
the soul. Evil. Try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Temple. It's sad the elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place? The blue door. That's gotta be the entrance. Let's go. Careful, boy. What are they doing? Look over the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. Maybe we can fix the bridge from down there? Okay, so that did something, I think. problem with us. We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the boat. The elves can't work things out. How find such a beautiful place, but war makes it ugly. You see with the eyes of a child. In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. Enough. Stories are for the boat. Father! 
The pillars and ring form an elvish room. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. Yep, it's water, all right. Boy! It was the voices again, but different voices, less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Ruger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes? The voices I heard. It was hard to make out. But way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard. Mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. Stay away from those cages. Wonder why they're locked up. Oh! <laughs> 
think that side hallway will get us to the temple? We will find out. better than anyone. It was her. She is gone, Billy. Speak no more of this. Fine. The witch's bow string doesn't work anymore. You sure the witch is okay? I'd hate to think she died helping us. She knew what she was doing. Okay. Ugh, more of it. If we cut enough away, the bridge above us should reappear. Right. Expect resistance. Right.
its weak point. Decent start. The light makes more than bridges. Maybe this will spit us out on top. Look! The blue door! We made it! You know... I will never get used to walking on solid light. The door. There's no seam. What? We have a problem.
these doors do not open. Hello? I don't get it. I even have a door then. Hello? Come, we will find another way in. More of those bells. A Nornir chest must be nearby. <laughs> Dwarf again. Sindri? Hey. This way. Hey, how did Sindri get ahead of us? He and the blue one do seem to travel quickly. Huh. We're inside. Ganatuya! Of course. Ready yourself, boy!
can no longer use it. We can. There, the light. They've covered it up with that stuff. How would they do that? Look, another light off. What's he doing? Oh no! Why are they killing him? He didn't do anything. Do not assume. You are seeing the end of a war, boy. You do not know what led to this moment. But he didn't even defend himself. That was his choice. We make ours. yourself! inside. That did it! Look! More light bridges! Follow me.
restoring all the pathways. Maybe we could find the light somewhere else. No, give me a moment. We should go. Not yet. I don't think you're gonna get it. We should go. I will get it.
think we're supposed to be in here? Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Quiet! I have him. Your knife boy. That was close. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. Stay back. Check our flank. Yes, sir. Here. It's the source of all of it. Wait, it's it's singing. I hear. I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Oh, that really hurt. I 
like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay to here. Only use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe. I'm letting you hold my axe. It's not a gift. Still. Doesn't seem to want to. I'm strong. I'm smart. I'm not what he thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you. Except, I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know your other son. Only moments. No, you've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look! There's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. 
Come. That stairway's blocked. There's a white crystal ahead, just laying there. Maybe it'll help us get out of this stupid place. Ugh! <laughs> 
Taking that. Here, boy. <sighs> you gonna carry that everywhere? I just might. Oh look, the blue door that's not a door. And a sand bowl. But how do you expect me to reach it? Where do we go from here?
You can reach the bowl now. Uh-huh. What does this mean? See. Remember the shape. Yeah, I know. Go ahead. Greatest man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, it's see. Stupid rails. So, it's a door after all. Go back the way we came. The lift. We really gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then.
Plan on carrying the crystal everywhere like the last one? If need be. Shoot. Finally. We can use the same sand bowl that brought us down the first time.
property of Rick Moon, the Yarmouth. No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. the wrong side I let me guess you're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved that is enough do you remember the answer yeah, yeah. boy read this boy what's that say only time you want to talk to me is when you need do you want to tell me something I said the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here- If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. Atreus. Forget it. Fine. So? She might. Who? You know. Oh, she's not there. I like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my home. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you, that's good to know. Really. So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? So, what do you mean I see with the eyes of a child? In war, a soldier sees beauty only in the blood of his enemy. The rest of him is lost. Sometimes never to return. You know about war, don't you? Wars are fought for two things, survival or advantage. Battles may be won by the- Back. I see you've been busy. How observant. I am known for my attention to detail. You boys look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. Let's get started then.
Ruthless type. Who knew? Was there more to discuss? What are you going to tell me about war? Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. that may contain some useful treasure. Sindri said, Mother was a warrior. Was she in a war too? Of a sort. Her family was decimated by hostile rivals, and she alone survived. She walked the warrior's path, but her war was to live on. To brave an unforgiving world alone. And that's why she asked Sindri and Brock to make her the axe? She had the strength to wield such a weapon, and the wisdom to use it for good. She found purpose in protecting the weak. So, she'd help out the elves? No.
Father, do you ever know anyone else who heard voices? We will continue another time. Checking it out? All those voices in my head. Whoa. This wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, his animal warned me about something hiding in the tree. That's why she didn't want to cross. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. But she was afraid. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand?
Brock! We just came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not in that order. Did you let that seat saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on her girl? Quite the opposite. Hmm. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. Good. Now when you're done gawking, I got a favor to ask. I see. Just wanted to stare into my eyes. Do you remember the way back to the Black Breath? Of course. We need to walk across the bridge to the Vanaheim Town. Are we going to the Black Breath? Or explore it? Your choice. Look, we rode past that statue of Thor earlier, when we left the Witch's Cave. And what direction is that? It's mid-morning, the sun is over there, so... That's south. Southwest? Good. Just magic is still covering those scorn poles. Saves us some time. Look like you're gearing up for quite the journey. down there, if you don't feel like climbing. No roots. Guess the witch never came this way.
Father, do you... do you think I could carry her now? No. But I... I said no. Okay. So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch your step. Carelessness will only do... Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. We climb. You know, Alder said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Fjordnaham? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Mel, we made it! More black breath. did come here. Is that a deer? I don't remember stories of a giant with a deer head. I wonder who he is. There's a second life crystal around here. What does it say? No yoked beast, no fearful thrall, no rooted tree, doth know my call. Hmm. Atreus, to me! This 
place must have been important to the Giants. It's like they're testing us. Okay, that looks right. Still no help. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Oh, thought maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants need to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? That helps, right? Guess we have to go down again. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in it. Giants are just a race, like elves and holder folk. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. There's only one. This is a lot of bodies. Tell me what you see. Well, they look like men, not giants. Correct. Be you seeking treasure. See the traps? Oh yeah. Lucky for us, they set them all off. Be grateful these stay dead. We made it across! Read it. Oh, this is Durothroy, one of the four stags of the World Tree. He's supposed to watch the end of the Vietnam while the giants sleep. Think he's still there? I do not know. Still our goal. We find a way up. Wow. The 
highest peak in the realms. Think Mom knew this was the Giant's Mountain? No. The request has been more complicated than she could have foreseen. It's a name, I think. Frasleer. It means terror. <laughs> What's that? Weird. There's a candle all tangled up with string and some sort of animal hide. Some kind of lantern? No wick, though. That is of no use to us. The Bifrost lights our way. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. How do we use it? Well, that's not going anywhere. There's gotta be a way to make that claw work. <laughs> the machinery in here looks almost like <laughs> stonework. That's definitely Yogi. You know, I think the giants not only mine the mountain. <laughs> Can you read it? Yes, sir. That's funny. How so? One hand wrote, Yotnar only. And another wrote, and also dwarves. Should we add to it? No. I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. you created up there, boy. Maybe there's a way up there through that passage that opened. We will see. Oh, I was wondering who woke up every drogger in the mountain. Should have figured. <gasps> wow. How big is this place? It is a mountain. Big. 
More traps. There's a tunnel, but you won't. Take it. Okay. See that. Let's go. That's it. Stop. If it is not useful, leave it alone. special about them. I can feel it.
This goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir.
phone's not broken. There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. Ask them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come, boy. It is a long way up. Whoa! What's Stay it? back! The tunnel boy. Thor's must have carved these tunnels around the giant's traps. Good thing, too. <laughs> well, good for me, anyway. Oh, come on! That is not helping. See you on the other side. May not be as long a way up as we thought. That did it. Or not? Are we still too heavy? the summit. How far do you think we'll be able to see? The lake? The world search? Our house? We will see when we get there. Until then, eyes open. Whoa! Atreus! I'm fine. Just lost my balance for a moment. You know, for someone so strong, you sure worry a lot. It serves me well, and how I keep us alive. I guess. Not a terribly fun way to live, though.
that for fun? I get it. I should worry more. Is this where we get off? No. We are stuck. Not know. Think we'll get attacked again? Definitely. Oh boy. Yes. Now be ready. Be ready! What then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier, on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Calm ah! yourself, boy, and stay behind me. Yes, Enemies ahead. Is that a trap? 
crystallized sap. There is power inside. Incredible! I can't believe we fought a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air goes thin here. No more questions. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Hey, Oakley! Over here! You okay?
ready to lower the crane on my mark. I do not care. Be ready. We did it. And you! Ah! Uh, but, 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 nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And uptight. Fussy! I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait! I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. So unclean. Oh, so so unclean. Oh, oh, this smell. Oh. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Mm -hmm. 
Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Whoa! Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, see, you figured it out on your own then. Just... never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just... anything to help you. Yep. And for you? Ooh, what more do you need? Well, don't buy anything on my account. Feels like it wasn't that long ago we were hunting deer. Now we fought dark elves, trolls, and ogres, and a dragon. I feel like we could be anything now. We win because we are determined, disciplined, not because we feel ourselves superior. Sure, I know. It's just, it feels good to be strong, you know? Yes, I know. Crystal renews itself. Useful.
Emir. Mother tried to tell me this one, but I think I was too young. Are giants coming out of his armpits? I think that might be Odin stabbing him. things with this. continues to grow. It's getting colder. We must be near the top. Huh. Not long now, Mom. broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. The broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Steady, boy. Mind your footing.
those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. That sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. You brought company this time. Must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. Boy took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She wished her. She wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard, it's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is, there's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open. We're going to Jodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? And Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body for these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, 
I can't watch this. Mother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. Boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. realm of the giants that's that's inconvenient yeah that's just what i was going to say hey it's a fragment of a language cipher you should look for more like this do you remember the way to the witch's house yes the woods with the blood red leaves South of the lake. I know just where to go. I hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring Lemir back. I see you next. Before you cut off his head. this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer god. Balder. And you fought him. And won. Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. He may be the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My the... kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother, a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. <laughs> Hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No, Fab. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Mm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? So times he gets so wrapped up in his work center he hasn't the sense to sip or suck. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to the beef. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. Miss him. What, that spit vister? What do you know? I just mean hey, do you mind? Trying to concentrate here, already on a break from my break. I'm sure your wedding smiles armor enough, but why take chances? Safe loser 
boy. The other. And don't be letting that spit pister of a brother of mine lay hands on it again. So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First, we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. I wish we could have gone on a trip like this with Mother. She could fight, couldn't she? Yes, she fought beautifully. Any good stories to pass the time? What kind of story? I don't know. Mother always had stories. Weren't you told me when you were a boy? There was a man I knew of long ago. His stories were brief and purposeful. Sounds fun. Do you remember any? <laughs> there was one that concerned a hare and a tortoise. Like the witch's house? Unlikely. So what happened? They wager on a race between them. The hare is too confident of victory and foolish, while the tortoise is steady and disciplined. The tortoise wins. You haven't told a lot of stories, have you? Huh? The water dropped. And the serpent rose. Right. I knew that. I know she's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can you keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay. The door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. So how do we get back up there?
Atreus, to me. Look here. It's some kind of drawing. Maybe a map? Oh! Maybe a treasure map! It's locked magically. Another one of those bowls of sand up there. That I drew the runes into? Not sure how we do it. Okay, well, that's way too far to jump. This will be fun. Almost there! It is! It's another one of those sand 
symbols. There are different runes written along the side of this one. Here. Boy. Yes, sir. Bow. I bet this will lead out. Turn back AC. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us. How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Hello. 
Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Pamela! It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. Let me see him. Mamir, you there? Yes. Good. Uh, oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the witch in the woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are god. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value the privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in mid-